started in 1976. Um, I was uh, in college kind of floundering. Uh, my major just kept getting more and more watered down. I think I was, in fact, I know I, would, I was a philosophy major by this time. Uh, I started off as English, then going to poli sci, um, and then, yeah, and, and then to philosophy. And, uh, and I'd started, I played music in high school, bass guitar. All sound men basically were, or ex bass guitar. So, um, at any rate, I, uh, I had a, was introduced, I was recording at home as a hobby. I'd gotten into that. And then a band asked me to come and record them in their rehearsal hall. And I did. And they liked it and they were losing their live sound guy and they offered me this position, live sound guy. And I said, yeah. So I went and did it and just instantly, I fell in love with it and I realized, I said, well, this is what I want to do. I don't want to be a philosopher after all. Um, so uh, I quit college, went to work for this band, and then so the rest is sort of history. I started my own little business in 76, ran it out of a band, and it just grew over the years. So for, uh, for Soundworks, our new speaker package, we started with the WPL, um, which is a 12-inch version. We were looking to upgrade from the PA we had used for years and years, and at the same time, we wanted to be able to get into larger venues and bigger rock shows, you know, just keep growing. We were the first in the country to get this particular. In the world. Speaking, in the world. The technological advances that Martin has seemed to um, be able to produce is in the software when you design your, your venue, your area that you need to cover, they have the, the technology to make, this, make the sound sound the same over the whole area um, volume wise and frequency response wise uh, and it just makes the same sound experience for everybody in the crowd. With the folks down at Town Point Park is reuniting with their really good old friends, Dave Bell and Doug Arbel. Mm -hmm. We go way back. Um, they used to work for a band called Fighting Gravity, and we used to provide sound for them, work well, together all the time. They were just great friends. We had so many good times together, so many good shows. Um, so at any rate, that was, I was just thinking that it's so cool, it's a small business, a small industry, and things just come around the same folks, tend to work together again and again. It was really nice working with those guys down there. I think it's so impressive to me, and so it speaks to the commitment of fest events, is when they're willing to plan a event in the park but just in case it rains they will have secured the scope and have a stage sound system and lights set up ready and waiting so if it can't happen in the park because of weather we immediately move right into the scope and i yeah, think for jazz, fest. for jazz fest and that's to me that's amazing that's shows the, the true commitment of fest events to, to entertain the folks in Norfolk. I think that's really cool. That's really cool. And we've, done, we've had to do that a few times. The 
fact that the leaders there, uh, Karen and Ted, were out picking up trash after the event. They were working just as hard, if not harder, than every other Fest Events employee on site made me realize that that company was similar to Soundworks and made me appreciate them the same way that I appreciate my bosses. They make you want to work hard. They make you want to do a really great job because they care about the minutia and it's really impressive.